Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles, where we talk about TV shows, music, and all that type of stuff, and movies. So today we're doing uh, TV, we're doing The Flash, and we're doing the Season 1, Episode 7, Power Outage. So let's jump right in, shall we? So to start off where um, there's a little bit of like a six-month or nine-month flashback where Duke gets electrocuted and dies. And, um, or dies. <laughs> and then, um, we cut to the present where there's Wells shading that's happening. We don't really know what's happening yet. Um, and then we cut to where Barry rushes to get to work. And then... Ah. And so there's, um, on, on his way to work, he gets mud. And that severely backfires because he's a Flash and Barry is actually being really funny about it. So that's really hysterical. And then we cut to where Joe is off. He's trying to play it off that he's not, but Barry knows that he's off him anyway. And um, he goes to the crime scene where um, he founds a crispy corpse. Like, so crispy. It's really insane looking. I was like, ugh, when I first saw that. So then we cut to um, Barry got the speed set right out of him. And the person stole it when he was tracking tra tra down the lead. And it was like a power drainage. And um, the person stole it. And then um, uh, then we cut to where the Clock King is in Central City. Kind of like a call to, to um, Starling City. And then we uh, cut to um, Wells is checking uh, Gideon. He's in that secret room that tells Feature or whatever. And um, now it says the Feature is uncertain because um, the Flash doesn't appear up there. And so um, I call him this guy that's like an energy. I call him an electro vampire. Um, so he shows up at Star Labs and uh, literally drains a lot of power where there's like a power outage, hence the name of the episode. And so um, the clock king takes over the police station and um, then we cut to where Barry wants to reason with the electro vampire and that doesn't really work. And then we cut to where the clock king starts making demands. He wants a helicopter, he wants food, he wants this and that. And then Joe tries to reason with the Clock King, and that doesn't really work, and Eddie gets shot. And then we uh, cut to where Wells talk, um, talks to Tommy, and he wants him to kill the uh, Electro Vampire, and if he does, he can go on his merry way to do whatever. So it's Tommy versus um, Electro Vampire, and then um, as they're starting to fight, we cut to a scene where Barry gets a jump start, but it didn't work. And then we cut to where the Clock King um, stops Eddie from fleeting out. So it kind of helps him. And then it's Tommy versus Electro um, Vampire again. And um, the Electro, Va uh, Electro Vampire kills Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> and then we cut to where the Clock King uh, gets a helicopter. And then we cut to where... Barry gets mad at Wells for, you know, trying to get Tommy to take care of it for him. And it turns out he has, like, a little mental block going on. So where it's, his powers are still there, he's just mentally blocked from using it. And then we cut to where the, um, the Clock King takes Iris as hostage. And then um, she asks, like, can I just say goodbye to Eddie? He's my boyfriend. And so he says something to her, but we don't know what she said. And then, um, then we cut to where Wells and everyone tries to escape through oh, um, Star Labs' van, but Electro Vampire took the power from the van. And then, um, then we cut to the Clock King scene where they're going up, and also there's a gunshot. So someone got shot, but we don't know who yet. So it's either Iris or the Clock King, so we don't know yet. And then, um, then Wells and the Electro Vampire have a confrontation, and and he actually knows all the people that died from the Particle Accelerator, which is kind of crazy that he actually memorized all that, but 
He's super smart, so. And then, uh, uh, then we cut to where Barry got his, finally got his powers back. And um, so then it's Electric Vampire versus Barry, and Barry wins. And then, um, turns out the Clark King is the one that got shot in the leg. And ours is fine. And then the Electro Vampire is dead. And then Wells talks to Barry. And then, um, and then Barry goes to the hospital to visit Eddie. And he's high as hell. And he actually, um, Barry does a little bit of, um, flash stuff. And, uh, so, oh, that's, and then Eddie's like, oh, that's so cool, man. But he's just hot to call. He, he's not going to remember nothing. And then um, the Flash talks to Iris again. Sports with her again. So it's got a bad habit doing that. And then uh, then we cut to where um, Wells checks on the, the future again. And it's back on track. And then Barry's back to training. And then... Wells gets a sample of the Electro Vampire because they put him into the Source Labs um, jail cell, even though he is dead. And I'm going to need to edit this. I just left a little gap, so I'm cut that. So. Anyway, uh, this episode is super cool, super freaky. Um, I feel it's done around Halloween time, so. Kind of makes sense to have like an electro vampire type thing, so um, it's pretty cool. So, um, that's what I'm doing for me. This is a A plus episode, it's really good. I like the character development and all that type of stuff, um, and how Barry's overcoming obstacles and learning from it. So, I really do appreciate that a lot. So, like I said, really, really, really good episode. Um, so that's one day for me. So if you like this video, please comment down below on what you think of the episode or the video. And then um like it, please. And then subscribe for more stuff coming up soon because I am turning out a lot of Flash and Arrow and soon to be Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl. I'm literally knocking all of them out. I've been very busy. I've been watching a lot of episodes, been applying for jobs and doing this and doing that. So anyway, quick little update. And so I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.